Obadiah Genocide here with another lolcast, again on Summoner's Rift. This one recorded by uh, Victor, the person who's playing Victor. The Arngrim. Ar 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 ar. Victor is really one of my favorite characters. I just, I like him for some reason. I can't explain it. He's just fun. Dry Lurk is playing Sona. Chaos23 is playing Kogma. Mary Poor is playing Malphite. Aswilite. I think that's right. Aswilite is playing Skarner. Baboon Mallet is Mordekaiser. There's so many inappropriate jokes I can put in there right now. Lick and Lime Green is playing Nunu. I'm not even going to try. That is playing Kogma. Qu <laughs> 725 is playing Kogma. Insane AI 2 is playing Nasus. And Bandoni is Dr. Mundo. I hate going against Dr. Mundo. Jungle Dr. Mundo and Jungle Skarner. And yeah, Nasus top is going to be difficult. It'll be pretty tough. Um, looks like I would either... Yeah, Nasus should be top. Probably uh, Mordekaiser mid along with Victor mid. Kog'Maw, both Kog'Maws are bought and with uh, dry, dry Lurk with Kog'Maw. Yep, I can already see it right there. And I'm expecting Lick and Lime Green to go bot with uh, 725. We'll see if I can't remember their names right now because these seem a kind of a complicated bit of fallen. names right now. Why can't you give yourself a normal name? Anyway, it would make, it, make my life easier. They're just uh, doing the typical uh, let's help jungle as they start a uh, nice leash on the uh, hard leash on the, uh, the the wolves and he's going to come and keep helping them. Nice laser though. Let's see how his build, how uh, his build starts. Boots and pots to uh, give himself some mobility and, and Victor does start off pretty slow. Skarner has a re health potion and a regrowth pendant and the leash continues. Malphite. Boots and pots, and Dord's Blade on Kogma, and some, uh, I keep saying summoner, they're not summoner, they're uh, support items on Dry Lurk, his uh, Sona, and Lick and Lime Green, yep, just like I said, Lick and Lime Green down at 725, and Baboon Mallet, here comes the first gank from Aswilite uh, on Insane AI 2, and he comes out, shields himself up, Maripor, and they need to try to do a slow or something. He's trying to get ahead of him. And he slows him, and he's going under tower. Oh, tower hit on Aswilite. Tower hit on Mariport. He takes two, three. Ah, there goes. Almost first blood. Yep, don't. <laughs> do not do that. Can he get? He flashes in, takes tower hits, gets exhausted. Three hits. Oh, man, he needs to get out of there. That is not a good gank. Um... When, when you're level 1, or 2 even, do not go through those towers. You should know that by now. No, okay. Maripor is talking, is chewing uh, Skarner out, Aswilite out, and he was in the wrong. He went around behind. And Maripor went right through. That was retarded. That was insane. And he saw where his jungler was going, and he chose to go under the tower he chose to go under the tower knowing exactly what was going on. It's his, it's his own fault. I really um, don't... You know, and I fall to this sometimes. You don't want to blame yourself. It's hard to blame yourself. But just step up. Blame yourself for what's going on because that was Maripo's fault. You know, completely. Farming with the laser going on right now. Trading back and forth. Let's see. Boots and Pots on um, Baboon Mallet as well. And I think... Um, the Arn Arngrim really needs to be uh, careful here. He's about at half health. He still has his pots. Oh, Le you know, quarter health right now. He's getting pounded by Baboon Mallet. He needs to be careful with his shield. The timing of when you initiate or, or fight Mordekaiser is really important because of that shield of his. And he knows what's going on. He's going right after... Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's not there. Victor needs to get there. Throw something down. Laser... Oh, he misses his... His gravity field, first blood goes on Maripor. Can he get another hit on him? Doesn't die, that's amazing. First blood goes to purple. And, uh, just, um, <laughs> Maripor is complaining. No, stop feeding. Gosh, I hate that. It's, it bugs me. But, uh, that was just an unfortunate uh, set of circumstances for Aswilite over there. He just. You know, Baboon Mallet came down, and it was it was poorly timed attack. Uh, oh, here comes Bandoni. 
barely misses the cleaver, and the iron rim is, uh, oh, looks like he's just playing around. That's, that's good. Oh, he's coming to steal the wraiths, and they need to go in and fall back, fall back. Oh, get the kill. Somebody get the kill. Nice job. The iron rim gets the kill, and they need to run out from Baboon Mallet. There goes an Ignite, and he flashes out, so he should survive this, just barely. Yep, they both survive, and the uh, the AP carry gets a kill out of it. That was good. A little too risky for, um, let's see his name again, for Bandoni to try and take these uh, the Wraiths right there. Got caught, got punished for it. Bamboo Mallet couldn't get, a, couldn't get a kill out of that. Let's check and see how uh, Chaos23 is doing down bottom. And Dryluck. Why did that give me a whole bunch of letters? Now I see him as Chaos 23. Let's see what is what it shows up. Yeah, Chaos. That's really weird. Uh, did I just read wrong? Am I some weird sort of dyslexic or illiterate? It's possible. And they're they're trading back and forth, getting pushed back and forth. And um, I haven't seen Baboni gank much. And um, Aswalex coming in. Here comes the exhaust on Lick and Lime Green. Flash out. And they're both low health, and I don't think they know that you know, Asplite did not go in there. But here comes the Arngrim, and maybe they can catch them at low health too far out into their lane. An ally has That's been who it was, 725, who was... I'm confused there. I don't know what's going on with me. Oh, uh, and here comes a lot of pain from Chaos, and he's running from 725. And he, nice, Arngrim gets... Nunu right licking lime green. Nice job. Right underneath the tower. Very good tower dive. Very successful. And uh, that was that was a great gank by Arngrim. They really should have, you know, been more hopefully more uh, Oh he misses his gravity field. Gravity well and uh, just harasses there and he comes out with a shield and he's fine. Baboon Mallet really probably should have communicated more with his team. Um, saying that mid was uh, mid was missing, you know, and if and if they're good, he already has his uh, his augment death, so he went right from boots and pots to augment death, and that's gonna make him hurt a lot, like, and uh, and it's damage over time, so it's more than you expect, more than you're planning for, and if he can get, oh, there's he, he hit him right when he didn't have his shield, that was very good. He has no magic resist, all AP, and uh, he just took the full brunt of the Arngrim's laser there. That was a that was a nice trade, and that's exactly what you should be doing, trying to outpoke as Victor. Here comes uh, Lick and Lime Green up from bot, probably just uh, warding Dragon, and yet warding the Tribush. Very good, very good job. And he comes out, and Chaos harasses a little bit right there. Just going back and forth again, trading shots, and up top. Maripor is again in trouble against Insane AI 2, and he's just taking it from him. He just, just took a little bit, and now he's going to go back in port, and, uh, ins and, he's, and Insane AI 2 is just going to level up his Q. He's going to feed his Q, and uh, the, it's hard. It's really difficult to go against a good um, Nasus on top. Someone who can... Nice! Alts in, ignites, pops him up. Can he get the kill? There goes the insult, uh, uh, ultimate from Insane AI 2. He's still taking turret shots. And he flashes out. Ameripor is still slowed. He... Uh, there goes another kill for the Arngrim. And enemy killing spree. Insane AI 2. He knows what he's doing. Ameripor just goofed there. He done goofed. He should have gone back, bought some stuff. He went in, took turret shots. And, uh, and and fed another kill to Insane AI too, um, and I'm just waiting to blame it on Astrolite, who was you know down at Wolves. I don't know. Go ahead. But that that was that was a mistake. Uh, you know I, I like I like seeing ults, and I say nice alt, and it really probably wasn't. You know it, I, I probably it wasn't a good alt at the time. It just it just wasn't. So he needs to think about more uh, a bit of what he's doing. Um, and uh, Skarner does want does like blue, but it, it is very nice to give blue to your uh, AP carry. And up top here, I'm just wondering what uh, Malphite can do against uh, against Nasus. It's it's a di he has a difficult he's gonna have a difficult time denying Nasus that Q farm, uh, which is so important to Nasus, which can be so devastating. 
So, uh, yeah, it's it, he, he's in a, in a trouble spot right now. So uh, we'll see what he can do. Hopefully he can do well. Calling for uh, fallback for Chaos. He has he is low health. Mid's missing. Nice. Uh, nice MIA there by the Arngrim. Heal down and make sure that Chaos goes back. He has his pickaxe and his boots right now. Mm, and just, uh, I guess, uh, Drylurk has been buying a lot of wards to try and help. But he needs to go back and buy some more wards and some more of his support items. Let's see, Baboon Mallet has his Hextech Revolver. And the Arngrim... Still saving up. He's gonna be. Oh, he's almost has. He has enough now for his um, uh, needlessly large rod, and that's probably what he's gonna get next. He's gonna rush his rabbitons, and uh, that'll really make him hurt a lot. Here he comes, jumping in on Babu Mallet. Babu Mallet ignites him and ults him. He's probably gonna go down. He doesn't see that Aswad is there, and he ult ult somewhere in there. Come on! Oh gosh, nice shield to mitigate the last of that damage he got down to like less than 50 health oh that has to be frustrating for baboon mallet and uh no he's still farming his q every time uh, you 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 let him sit there and farm his q he's farming his q there maripor so um just don't die anymore that's one of the one of the main things i focus on if i'm having trouble in lane i just turn into go to don't die mode yeah like like this this is this is not... I don't understand what he's doing here. I really, really don't. He's letting him ult, exhaust him. I don't understand. Oh, gosh. At least he uh, ulted him up underneath the, uh, the tower, but it wasn't enough. He was sitting there... He does this to you every single time. Change the way you play. Change the way you play so you can actually counter him or something. That's that's what needs to happen. Oh, here comes a gank. Arngrim's in trouble. He is in a lot of trouble. Oh my gosh! Drops the ult and the laser on him and just destroys. <laughs> Holy cow! Destroys Bandino. Bandono. Oh my gosh! That was it just out of nowhere. Yeah, and he does have his needlessly large rod and Bandono. No. Magic resist whatsoever. The only person magic resist is Nasus, uh, insane AI too, and uh, and he's up top. He hasn't been helping. You know, he's not going to be able to help with with um, Arngrim at all right now. Asplet needs to go in right now. Nice stun, pulls back the the, the carry, the AD carry. Very good job. But he runs the wrong way, and he's not going to do anything. Oh, sad face. He doesn't do anything with his ultimate, um, and leaves Lick and Lime Green alone. And here comes Maripor, gonna die again. Five bucks, he's gonna die. Yep, he's sitting there farm. Okay, he runs out this time. And there you go. He's pushing way too much as well. When you're solo top, don't you need to remember last hit. Don't just sit there and auto attack. You're pushing way too much. You know, it's it's just it's gonna make you really easy to gank, although, you know, insane AI2 has been killing Maripor a ton, so Bandono doesn't really need to help that much. And there goes Chaos. He gets way out of position. Oh. Does not get the kill off with his with his death explosion. And Drylurk Dry is left in a lurch down bottom. Nothing they could do about it, and uh, he's uh, he just got caught out of position and is dead. Again, he's pushing way too far. Don't push so much. Just, you know, it's going to make it impossible for Aswalite to gank, and it's going to make it too easy for Bandono to gank, even though he doesn't really need to because uh, Insane AI has been taking care of business up top really well, like a boss. And I, I'm impressed with, you know, well, I'm impressed with the amount of uh, insanity Maripor has been playing with and that Insane AI 2 has been taking advantage of it and sticking it to him. 4 and O oh right now. For the Arngrim. That is that is great. That is exactly what you love to see as a victor. Oh, it's just it's a beautiful thing. Uh, he is saving up for the rest of his uh, death cap right now. Pushing in. Baboon Mallet is just, just can't do anything to him. He, he's just so low health. And here comes Bandoni trying to come in and help Baboon Mallet try to go back. And um, Arngrim is just fearless right now. He does not care. He's like, I got blue buff. I got my laser. You guys are screwed. Bandoni doing a good job seeing how he got exploded by the Arngrim. Bought himself some magic resist. 
very good. Nice farming from the Arngrim. Uh, you know, he's adjusting his build, and he's he's helping to uh, to try and counter this 4-0 victor. And a fed, you know, fed character or anything is scary, but especially with the burst from his ult and his laser and his Q, a fed victor is a terrifying victor. Um, so hopefully he can uh, work well against insane AI too. Let's check out some of the other build builds. Uh, Philosopher's Stone on uh, Skarner. Uh, Malphite, his Glacial Shroud, some Null Magic Mantle, some armor, you know, he's, he's doing well, they're trying to build that up. Baboon Mallet has his Sorcerer's Shoes, and uh, his, another, some more AP. Here comes Aswalite to try and come in and gank. Uh, he's, he's not in a really good position to do it. You know, a, a nice, nice job from Arngrim predicting where they're going to go. Aswalite now knows where to go, and uh, hopefully does it through the jungle and not through the um, river, because then he would get caught. Very good job just trying to say, you know, this is what's going on, be careful. I don't care if you say people shouldn't depend on MIAs, they should look at the minimap, but of course they should. They should look at the minimap. But also being a good teammate means communicating and helping people know when somebody's missing and when somebody's pushing way too much. Every single time we go up here, Maripor is pushing like crazy. Run, run down the river, run down the river. No, don't stand and fight. Okay, he ults him up, ignites him, there, start running, there goes the ult, and laser, very good job. Nice communication, and save by Arngrim, and good job on Maripor to understand what he wants, and what he needs to do. Uh, he ulted him, slowed him down, and then went towards the river, that worked out well. Top tower's getting pushed in mid tower, he's getting pushed by Baboon Mallet, and here comes Astrolite to try and uh, keep Baboon Mallet from pushing it too much. And, uh... Arngrim's getting a little upset, but uh, he, he, he's okay. He'll be fine. Man, look at that harass there on Bandoni. Flashes in, blows him up with his ult. That initial explosion from the ultimate is, is awesome. It's just, it's great. There's an extra 114 magic damage and an extra 50 per second over, you know, over damage over time. It is a devastating ult right now, and... It's it's really sexy to see as a victor player. I love to see this. Six and O. Oh. No towers yet. Eight kills to five. Six kills of the eight for blue belong to this guy right here. Nice job, Arngrim. Really taking it to the other team and punishing them. And and communi he's, he's ganked bottom, he's ganked top, he's been all over the place, he's been communicating. This is exactly what the lead of a team or you know the mid of a team should be. You know, I'd kind of take it as a lot of times the AP mid can can lead the team in a lot of ways. Uh, the very visual role, and very they're going to be targeted a lot, and they can be very bursty. So he's doing a good job keeping his team's morale up. And oh my gosh, he had enough to get two blasting wands. Slows Baboon Mallet, and he doesn't have enough. Time. There goes the cooldown. There goes the laser, and he's just man, he's bending Baboon Mallet over right now, just over his laser. And exhaust down on Lick and Lime Green. Can we get another ultimate? Nice job. Chaos 23 gets rid of him. And uh, they get out. Here comes Bandoni. And uh, I think... Nice shield from Dry Lurk. Oh, Exhaust goes down to Chaos 23. Help him. Help him. For goodness sakes. Here comes the Arngrim. Pays attention to what's going on. Gets a godlike kill off on uh, 725. And he's going to get another kill. Double kill on Bandoni. 11 kills total. 8 and 0. Way to go, Arngrim. Turns that around and uh, makes it 3-1 to one instead of just 1-1. One for one. That was excellent, and he, I'm giving him most of the credit here, especially for those last two kills, that double kill. They were impressive. Very good effort um, by everyone on the team, but particularly Arngrim seeing what's going on, paying attention, and coming coming down, first of all, for pushing Baboon Mallet out of, out of the lane so he can come down and gank. And... You know, I'm assuming bad on Baboon Mallet for not communicating. If it did communicate, you know, they really needed to get back. They were being greedy, pushing in here. Yeah, they had a good gank, but they knew that, you know, their incredibly fed Victor from the other team was coming down, and he was just going to say, here's my laser, take it, and they like it. And uh, here he comes, Maripor, trying to go in and uh, slow down. Yeah, nice job. He goes in on Insane AI, slows him down. Insane AI doesn't realize what's going on. Nice! Couple of an ult and a stun. Very good job. Maripor gets the kill. Nice work on um, on that right there. 
nice communication and Maribor's stepping up to what he needs to do and helping out with the ganks and they're going to get top tower this is going to be the first tower to go down dragon is seeing some action right now Asolite is getting pounded on by bandoni and they're getting chased barely miss oh he actually hits the cleaver on dry lurk he heals and oh he just needs to get out and they get back under tower oh nunu oh oh he lets it go off too early no that was not good he could have slowed them and really done quite a bit of damage. I mean, there was, there was the slow from uh, Bandoni with his axe. Here comes Arngrim, and he's going to punish. Oh, misses the laser, gets hit by Baboon Mallet, and uh, nothing doing right now. But, you know, there were a couple of slows there. First, the slow from um, Lickin' Lime's ult. Nice job, Chaos 23. Uh, there, there were a couple of slows there, and they could have actually done more damage with that ultimate. But he moved, and he would stopped channeling, and had it go off too soon. Um, nice job communicating. Maripor saying alt in 12. That's very good. And the, the s synergy between Maripor's alt and the gravity field from um, from Victor is, is an excellent thing. It's just, it helps to land that stun so much more often. I love playing um, Victor when somebody else on my team is playing a Mumu. The, combining the alt, the, um, the gravity field, the my stun with his stun his ultimate basically and my ultimate it's just it shreds teams it just it destroys them and ruins their day so uh victor does depend on good synergy within a team and they have that with uh the slows and the knockups and the stuns and also the uh, the suppression here from astrolite um to really they can they can make sure that um that the arngrim can do as much burst damage as possible than most people as possible. Maripor pushing uh, Baboon Mallet out of out of lane, getting told to fall back. Probably a good idea. He, there there aren't enough wards around mid, so they really don't know what's going on, where everybody is. Um, a lot's going on bot, and they need the same thing. They need to be careful. Chaos 23 is in a bad position. Could get ganked really hard. Um, oh, but they have a ward down here, and ban they see Bandoni. They need to get back. Chaos is still... He doesn't see him. He's still... Oh, Asphalite's in the bushes and they don't realize it. He comes in and he starts going after somebody. Chaos looks like he... F yeah, yep. He's trying to go after. Nice little bit of a dance done there. But it's just a mess right now. They're going after both cogs. Bandone is probably going to get a kill on him. And they really haven't been focusing them. There's a good Nunu all. There we go. Nice. It gets almost a full channel off. Oh, cog. Nice death kill. Very good. <laughs> and yep, Skarna calling to fight, and uh, they get a two for one right there. Very good job. Uh, they had a problem on focusing. The reason why it's just there was a mess. Everybody was fighting somebody else. They really needed to focus on Cog, which I believe Asphalite was trying to do, but it was really a hard fight to predict because Blue was just all over the place, and Purple decided to focus on um, Chaos, and it worked out. Chaos got through and blew up. Uh, 725, which worked out in the end. They, they got a couple of kills. Two kills to one. And they stay in the lead. 15 kills to seven. Eight no still for the Arngrim. And one tower to none. Very nice job. Uh, a nice way to communicate. 20 seconds to Arngrim's ult. And it's going to be bursty and destroy and tasty. Will of the Ancients. Poor Baboon Mallet. And... Uh, added to his build. He and also Arngrim has finished his death cap. Maribor goes in with his phage and his frozen heart. Lots of slow going down right now. Drop your own. Yes! Very good. Maripor's in trouble. Running around flashes and here comes Laser. Oh! Insane AI, AI is there too. Gets the kill in Maripor. And the Ar Arngrim needs to go out. I believe that was a bad targeting. Yes, he got the kill. But he probably could have gotten the kill in Yarngrim and gotten the extra gold and shut him down um, if he had gone with Bantoni to kill um, Arngrim, which may have been the more effective use of his time. Uh, but Lickin' Lime Grim, I don't know what he's doing still still here. <laughs> Laser kill steal. Kill secured. Oh, that was funny. That was great. Arngrim comes in and finishes up the job that Chaos 23 had started. And again, I, I can't understand why Lickin' Lime was, was still there, was, was there at all. Um, 
had to see any of his team around, and he got surrounded by three people and just and you know the heaviest damage dealers on their team, Arngrim and Chaos, and he just got melted. So let's see um, what we just saw his build. Actually, it's yes, it's uh, Chaos's build. There goes Tower Number Two. His build, and he has his Infinity Edge. He's building his um, Vampiric Scepter, and he has his Berserk Berserker's Greaves. More uh, support items on Drylurk. Oh gosh, Chaos needs to stick with people. He's just sitting there farming too much, and he's gonna go down. He's done. Just hurt him as much as no. Oh, he's done. Kill someone. Kill someone. Ah, it doesn't do it. Baboon Mallet goes down to Victor again. Arngrim, he gets... Oh, can he get another kill? Laser, perfect time for his laser. Oh, he uses his ult. And, um... Kills insane AI. And they're going to push mid-tower. It's going to be three towers to none. And 19 kills to nine. 11 and 0 for the Arngrim there. Uh, and he's really, literally carried this team. Well, that was a weird ult. Useless, but so I guess they walked into it. Oh, it was a surrender ult. GG, thank you for watching.